Hello everyone and welcome back to the Robin Hood Let's Play series. I'm your host Strat and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to episode 2. In the last episode we took out a couple looter bandits, uh, we recruited a few bandits ourselves, we're up to three. Uh, we gained a little bit of money, established ourselves with some renown. We are 19 out of 50 to our level 1 and uh, we're definitely not in bad shape here. I think in this episode we're going to switch it up a little bit instead of targeting specifically just looters. We're going to look for some bigger battles uh, if we can. Let's let these archers bugger off and let's see if we can go. I remember last time there were some big some big armies heading over this way. Let's see if we can figure out where they went. And sometimes if you scroll out you can see where there's a siege going on so like right here this would be a good opportunity we probably don't have actually let's head over that way i'll talk while i'm while we're walking so i really think the best way to level in the game is through defensive sieges you can uh, Sorry, I'm trying not to get killed here, and I got a screaming baby in the background. I got to mute my uh, sound once in a while. Um, one of the best ways, hands down, is uh, for gaining levels is the uh, defensive sieges. I actually put out a couple guides recently, and in both of them, the melee and the ranged guides, uh, I detailed how to gain the most XP. So for throwing or bow you can really make a killing there and it also I've got an athletics guide coming out later this week and it'll show exactly uh, what you need for that as well so the descent defensive sieges using the siege weapons so like right now they have they have one catapult we don't have enough troops to break in there so if we go up yeah he's gonna leave us alone so we can at least get in here it won't let us break in though, unfortunately. If we go to attack, it's going to put us in a field battle. I guess maybe you have to be, you probably have to be allied or mercenary to, to help with the defensive sieges. Um, you can help with offensive battles, so what we might do is just follow some of these guys around and wait for one of the one of these Batanian squads to, to gang up on him. And there are just a ton. A ton of bandits around. This is crazy. I gotta watch where I'm going. Yeah, 23. I was wondering why this guy is running away from 116 troops, but it's because they got a lot of recruits in low levels. Alright, here we go. Here's the big boy. Here's the big boy. And then there's a small one, but if they get into a fight, oh, they just walk right by each other. Did they... They may have declared peace. Western? Was that Western? Oh, sorry. No, that's that's Valandia. So they're probably at war with Sturgia. Uh, Sturgia, sorry. I think it's Sturgia, because I think it's supposed to be modeled after the Varangian guards, or the, the Varangians. That's my best guess, though. Alright, hopefully these guys run into something, although they're heading north. Everybody's south, so... Let's head back. Maybe we'll pick up pick up a fight here soon. Hmm. Yeah, I thought by now somebody would have done something. You know, we can... Man, there's just a lot. It's going to be hard to segregate these guys out. Let's actually get out of this area. I'm wondering if they're just clumping up because there's so many big armies running around that they have to ping pong left and right to avoid. Yeah, we can probably take on this group of six. Let's do that. That'll be a good warm-up for us.
Infantry for to move! Alright, sorry about that. I for keep forgetting to turn off the uh, the weapon trails. Because that's kind of not realistic, so. Alright, let's try and clean this guy up real quick. Nope. That guy, they're both hit. I think I have my best chance getting the guy on the right. And what'd we get? A little bit of levels, nothing too crazy. Although that's huge, picking up some more looters. And we got some more weapons. I'd, I would like to get back to the initial uh, storyline that I kind of uh, laid out, where we gotta go defeat some of the um, the bandit groups. I, I don't really wanna do it with my one-handed, so if we go to our civilian outfits, we got a one-hander, so we're just going to dump that. I'll make the crappiest two-handed weapon I can, the sword, which is fine. It'll it'll do the job. They're, they're, you know, pretty bad. We'll keep it PG here, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll get some decent materials for that. I think... Actually, let's see if we can. Can we build it? Yeah, we can actually, so... Let's just get rid of this wooden handle. Two wrought iron, that's no biggie. And... Now between these... For a civilian sword, the only thing that I really care about... Two things is the weapon reach and the swing damage. Doesn't really affect it. I'll take the higher swing damage. And we'll just pump everything up so we can get as much reach as we can. Oh, that's right. I can't do that one because I don't have any wood. That's fine. This is decent. It's going to spit out some with a bunch of debuffs on it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, we picked up a little cut damage. That's not bad for a first weapon. Uh, we do need to get rid of some of these things. Let's see. Yeah, well, I think we're good on a lot of things. Our food's good. We'll be able to convert that guy pretty soon. All right, let's head over to Marnath. And to save some time, let's just visit somebody so we don't have to walk from the front gate. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Ah, these are the guys. They busted me up. That's a little too many for my liking. Let's go check out the other one. Actually, you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little, a little frisky. So in order to get them to fight, you do the middle the middle response and the top one. There's probably other ones. Those are the ones that I usually do. Ah, he staggered me up the thing. That's alright. The nice thing about doing those first fights is you just get knocked out. You don't lose anything. All right, and an interesting thing happened while we were waiting to heal up. We did actually get the opportunity to join the defensive siege, so. And they're building ballistas, this is perfect. We're gonna be able to man a ballista, which is gonna boost up our, uh, both our athletics as well as our bow skill. And let's see, we don't have any skill points to throw. I was gonna try and toss another one. That's fine. We really need to level athletics as fast as we can, so I'm more worried about that than I am bow. Bow is pretty easy to level up. Oh, they abandoned the siege. That's unfortunate. 
Yeah, they got... But we will actually be able to take advantage of this. Let's go... Let them fight, and then we'll jump... Jump into it. It looks like he's chickening out. Alright, let's see where these guys go. Look at this. 455 ready to cause a delaying action so the thousand can get in there and, and they can outnumber him significantly. He's going to go siege rem toil. I highly recommend against that, but whatever floats your boat, my dude. And we can pick up both of these looters. They'll be ready just in time for this fight. We'll probably send them back anyways. I don't, I don't really want them with us in case they get killed. Oh, interesting. They outnumber them by about 45% and they're still not going in. Oh man, 340 volunteers. This guy's got 90 volunteers, so between the two of them it's like close to 500, like 450 recruits, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Actually, let's speed it up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that extra 98 guys sent them over the edge. So let's jump in. Now, a couple things about this fight. This is a big fight. There's going to be a lot of reinforcements here. Uh, we need got to be careful. And actually, let's just make sure. I got everything set pretty high here. Um, we'll see how it does. I've got a pretty decent... PC, it should be able to handle. I just don't like dipping below 60 FPS, so. But we'll see how it does. Alright, first thing we do, we've got to dismount. Retreat! And we're going to sound the retreat call. And try not to get stomped or spit on by these camels. And let's move up with that front melee wall. I really don't want to be out in the open. Uh, getting trampled by some cav. Or, and I don't have a shield, so we gotta stay behind somebody to avoid getting picked off by the archers. And we'll grab our trusty bow. And one of the, one of the takeaways from my ranged guide is that your XP matters almost exclusively on how far you are from the target. So getting headshots isn't really that big of a deal. Um, it's all about getting a kill, and then getting a kill as far away as you can. So if we can get shots at like 75 meters or greater, that's going to give us the best XP that we possibly can. So I think what we'll do, we'll dump some of our arrows, and then we'll go in for uh, some melee attacks shortly after. And look at these guys all green. Uh, by green I mean inexperienced. They got just a bunch of dumpy troops. It's going to be a big meat grinder in there. Alright, here we go. Now we're starting to take some fire. Those are those are friendly cav. That's the uh, the mercenaries. Very strong cav. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. No, I think that was short. Let's get a little closer. We do have a pretty crappy bow. There we go. That's a hit. Now, the unfortunate thing about having all your HUD off, uh, the UI elements off, is I have no clue if I'm hitting my guys or their guys. Hey, I don't know what's going on here. That's weird. The lines are inverting somehow. Oh, uh, can we squeeze? We gotta get out. That's not good. We just missed being impaled by this guy. Uh, we might get hit by a by a javelin. That's one thing that is a little concerning here. This guy lost his horse. I'm going to use him as a meat shield. No, stay here, sir. Stay here. Stay. 
Alright, let's rain some arrows back on him. Alright, I'm gonna try and hit that guy to his left. <laughs> oh, that was a hell of a shot. Okay. I'm glad I'm not on camera because I did actually jump for that. That scared me. Oh, headshot. That was... That looked really good. It's a lot more satisfying getting hits with arrow when you can't tell where it's going to go. That was a good shot. Alright, they are returning fire, actually. we got to be real careful here. There's another one. Alright, might have to start aiming at their feet. Alright, this guy's exposing his flank. We'll just throw some arrows in his leg. Yeah, now the other thing we do have to be careful of as well is we don't have the balance of power at the top, so I have no clue how the fight's actually going. And we're out of arrows. I think we uh, start getting involved here. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. I thought he had a sword. That, uh, that definitely surprised me. I think they might be retreating. We can get some free hits. Now one thing you can do if these guys aren't giving you a good a good look, you can start using your, your kicks. Pretty sure they're retreating at this point. They took a beating. Man, look at that battlefield. Just bodies everywhere. Yeah, that's it. We won. Hopefully, uh, we did more than one. I know last time we did a lot of uh, a lot of hollering. We only got one kill out of it. So. And we did take some damage, actually. I was shocked. I think I only got hit once by that that spear, but... Look. And we did have a looter that must have been a reinforcement, because we told everybody to retreat. These guys must have just reinforced. Uh, we did pick up some good levels, though. Yeah, I I'm not, not upset with that. Not very much renown. I would have liked to see that be a little bit higher, but I think usually you get awarded that based on a percentage of what damage you do so now these are going to be great for us because we can sell those that's going to help level up our roguery and not really any good upgrades we gotta wait so the only way we can put armor on is if we're doing civilians so looks like this one's not an option these other ones we can put on if we want any of them so this is an upgrade. We'll uh, be a little bit stylish here with the scarf. I'll take a little bit of arm armor. Again, this stuff is so it's such a small armor value, it's not going to really make that big of a difference. We did get two Imperial Chargers. That's interesting. We do need the movement speed because we got some extra recruits now. And we don't want to... Our, our biggest asset is being small and mobile. But if we don't have enough spare horses, then we're going to be a sitting duck. So we definitely have to make sure that we're moving at full max, uh, at maximum move speed. We got another level in scouting, so that's good. Almost, almost a level five. All right, let's hang on to these. Dump all this other stuff that we don't need. And I guess the question now is, do we want to get rid of this axe? 
and replace it with another two-handed sword. Although I don't know if we have the materials. We might. Yeah, I just need a little bit of wood. Let's see if we can pick up some wood. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, I think that's going to be good. So uh, what I what I'm doing is just kind of getting an idea of what materials are being spent. Crude iron is pretty useless. Um, Just depends on what you're trying to build. I wanted to get a little bit better than, than the base. This one would pick up an extra swing speed there, so. And then we trade that swing speed for an extra swing cut damage. Now you'll notice sometimes, and I am I am working on a smithing guide, but sometimes going max and just leaving it isn't the best way to do it. You see here if we back this off a little bit. The only thing that changes is we pick up an extra swing speed and swing cut damage, even though we're bringing this down. So sometimes it pays. I, I try not to min max too much because that's it can drive you mad. Yeah, see, that's about what we're gonna get. And we got dinged with the th the thrust, which is fine. I don't do a whole lot of uh, thrust attacks. So let's move that. We still have charcoal, so let's go ahead and smelt. Smelt our axe. Okay, and we do need to rest up, so let's do that. All right, let's, let's go see if we can get into some small fights, just so we can pick up some very quick renown. Yeah, and see, we're at, we're at the point where I think we can start bullying these stacks that were chasing us. We do have to be careful when they start to clump up, though. That's not... definitely not ideal. Ooh, he thinks he's got a big advantage here. Hmm. I don't know about that. Footman! Move! Bowman! Forward! Move! Alright, where are they coming from? <clears throat> Arrow! Move! Alright, they are going to aggro the archer a little bit. Probably not do that. Yeah, this is tough with looters. I I can't tell who's mine. That was pretty close. Nope. All right, so we picked up another another looter. That's gonna help out. And I believe we. If I oh I forgot to sell off our uh, prisoners. I wonder where we're moving so slow. Let's go sell off our prisoners. Uh, that way we're not being slowed down. These guys are slowing us down. 0.7. Pretty pretty big. Uh, pretty big difference. All right, we want to get rid of everybody except for the looter. Yeah, if there was a mercenary in there, we would definitely keep him as well, but not. Let's let's finish off our athletics. I think that's probably the most important one right now. It's going to help our survivability, but it's also more importantly going to help us get that extra uh, attribute point. Uh, sorry, the extra two attribute points that we're picking up with athletics. And then we are working on smithing as well. That'll help us get the other two. So that'll be free, four free attribute points. Archers, 
Far move! So forward! Oh, right in the ankle. Arc move! And you are move! very brave. Alright, we gotta save him. He's just. We cleaned up. Let's see if we can get this last one. Oh, good shot. Good shot. He actually... He already leveled, so he's not getting any XP for that, unfortunately, but... I don't know if I want to upgrade him. It's going to be pretty expensive if we get too many of those too quickly. Uh, we don't really need it because we're not taking any, any big battles or anything where we're super outnumbered. So I think we're just going to chill for a little bit, build up a, a little bit of a nest egg, a little safety net. And actually, where are we at here? 23, so we're, we're picking up some steam. I think we're starting to get the hang of this. <laughs> of course, right when I say that, I miss an easy shot. Right, we need to get in there. We're gonna lose a lot of looters here. Alright, I, I was about to shoot this guy. I thought that was one of, uh, one of theirs. We... Oh, we didn't lose anybody. We got two injured. Not bad. Some decent levels. We did pick up five. Holy smokes. That's probably from the three. These guys most likely had blunt weapons. Let's just check. Yeah, blunt. And then the two that went down might have had blunt weapons as well. Yeah, we're starting to turn ourselves into a nice little squad here. Faster than I thought, too, because I know sometimes these bandit playthroughs uh, can be a little bit of a uh, slow grind in the beginning, but I think we're we're probably... Oh, that's not ideal. We definitely don't want to fight the Sea Raiders together. It's alright. Let's head back the other way. Let's... Make a quick stop here. I don't think we have any upgrades, so we're just going to sell off that. We've got very low food, so we do need to pick up some. What's the cheapest here? That is expensive. So I think, I think we'll go ahead and wait. Hardwood is very cheap here. So we can pick up a little bit. Do some smelting. Yeah, we'll keep a little bit of hardwood in case we need it for crafting. And I don't think we're in a good position to do any crafting orders. We're only level 21. I usually like to do that starting when I'm around 50 to 75. It really depends on how much they're paying you. The small ones are not even worth your time. Alright, and... The squad grows so we need another was that 12 and then we'll be we'll be capped out uh, let's see I actually forgot what we were looking for oh yeah we need food so we don't starve let's just pick up a bit we've got some spare some spare room. I don't think we're going to be hauling anything anytime soon, so let's just get that out of the way. And what we might want to do, since we are getting a decent little squad together here, we can. There's nothing that says we can't go outside of Batanian lands. Now, this is not good. I actually thought 
they were going to split because that big group was there, but let's deal with it. We could have recruited one before this. That's not good. We could pay them off. Actually, we can't now because we passed that screen. That's great. You know what? Let's just do it. I think we've got a hell of a group here. These guys are Archers! pulling their weight. Forward! Infantry, move! Move! Forward! Let's set this up so that we have the best chance possible. All right, where are they coming from? You know, we're not going to get too many shots Archers! off Forward! before they crest that ridge. So let's back up a little bit. Yeah, let's see. And what I want to try and do is take one guy out. If we hit three different people with one shot, not going to do us a whole lot of good. And we're not. We're just going to miss everything. Of course, when it matters. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. Oh, man. That one hit slowed me down. Yeah, let's just send him in. That's okay. Well, yeah, we got tripped up. I really thought uh, I really thought this group of 149 was going to disperse that other one, but they did not. So let's see how much it's going to cost us to get out this time. I'm not too upset about losing the uh, the looters. I, I did... You know, let's wait a little bit longer. That's kind of a big chunk of our money. I was really hoping to keep that archer. The looters are no big deal. They're just kind of cannon fodder. And good thing we waited. We got out for free. Uh, what is our... Are we overburdened? No, we're, we've got the herd penalty, so let's go ahead and, as much as it pains me to do it, let's get rid of these Imperial Chargers. And now we're overburdened, which is easy to fix. Let's just get rid of the heavy stuff. We've got way too much food. Alright, let's head Let's head to the nearest town, rest up a little, and then we will get back at it again. Alright, rise and shine, we are back at it again. Let's see what they got. Oh, five is not too hard, but they do have the chief and the warrior. I'm going to take a risk and go for it. I, the reason being is I don't have any troops to lose, so it's not that big of a deal. If I go down, I'll just uh, wiggle my way out again and wait in town. But if we win and we get some of these guys converted, we'll have a little bit of a shield wall, which is definitely something I want. Alright, I was hoping to be near some trees, so this will help. We can we can dodge a lot of those uh, the javelins that they throw at us, so let's see if we can get some shots off here. And what I want to do is, as soon as they release the javelin, just change target, or change direction. Alright, let's hug this, because that's... Good. Oh, that hurt. I'm probably going to die here. Yeah, that was tough. That javelin messed me up in the beginning. Me right, right in the arm. Let's wait. I believe you get a little bit of roguery when you escape, so definitely not, uh, not going to complain about that. It's getting cheaper, but I think we can do better. And we already lightened our load, so we don't have herd penalty. We're not over encumbered. We still have our food. The only thing we lost is our dignity, which, uh, you know, is a bandit. Probably not that big of a deal. 
All right, let's let's take a little bit more reasonable of a fight this time. Yeah, it's tough. I think t probably three Sea Raiders would have been something we could have done. Hillmen, yeah, the cavalry is the problem. I I'm fine with the Hillmen. Those are basically just looters. But the cav, that's going to mess me up. Let's get this guy to get away from the village. We'll take a easy fight here. And you know what? Let's let them get slowed up by the water. We can get a few extra shots off. Well, it feels good to be back in the wind column again. And we picked up two friends, some decent levels, a little bit of renown. And let's keep going. We got momentum. I think we just keep riding that wave. see if we broke 25 yep we're at 25 so we're halfway there we're halfway there and hopefully by the time we hit 50 we will have a little bit of a squad with us it won't just be uh, this lonely endeavor with me by myself here we go I think we can take five pretty easily This hill is worrying me a little bit. I won't be able to get too many shots off. Nope. It's actually not bad. And they're all throwing rocks. This is going to hurt. So when you're trying to dodge, it helps if you move forward or backward at a diagonal. The reason the diagonal is helpful is because they have a hard time. They can usually aim one direction. So if, let's say, for example, if you're moving straight back or if you're moving straight left or right without, you know, any other lateral movement, they can auto aim right where you're going to go. But if you're going in two different directions and then you switch it, for some reason, it just messes up their math. They can't. They can't figure out where you're going, so as soon as they release, you just change directions in the opposite diagonal direction. Let's pick up that guy. Hmm. They had charcoal. I wonder if that's the group that captured me last time. Uh, are we going to get away? Yeah, we get away. I think we got some of our charcoal back. Ooh, that's an interesting uh, little squad. I definitely want to get that if we can. Hopefully nobody else jumps in, and they tried. Let's get away. I think I think we should follow this. This is a, a pretty good opportunity here. That's going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, get away from your big brother and your cousin. There we go. Uh, got him. Perfect. Infect move! Everyone! Forward! Infect move! Everyone! Tree saved us there. I heard that. Oh, took a hit there. Very nice. 
it looks like our looter finally did something. We, we did lose one, yeah, we did. But on the bright side, we swapped him out for a Sea Raider. I will take that trade all day long. And we'll just replace him. Alright, let's get out of here before we get swamped by these guys. Bother smithing, although we do need to rest. Actually, I didn't realize we took that big of a hit. Uh, so let's let's take care of that. All right, let's go look for another group. I would love to pick up more sea raiders. They're a lot more reliable than the looters. Oh, these guys have got yeah, they're moving slow. So either they got a bunch of gear. Or they got a bunch of prisoners. In this case, they might have both, but they at least have... Oh, and they got a freebooter? Oh, that's awesome. We're going to pick up a free archer here. Anytime you kill... Anytime you kill another group that has prisoners, those prisoners become your troops, if you want. Feeling good. Oh, what a headshot. I can't tell if he got hit there. I think I think he might have flubbed the shot, but he definitely had us if he wanted it. That's going to be a tough one. Alright, no prisoners. A couple levels. Our bow skills get better. More importantly, our actual ability to use the bow without the crosshairs is getting a little better. It's not easy, but... Uh... Oh, we picked up a freebooter. And one more to go for the top tier of the, uh, the archer bandits. Yeah, these guys uh, definitely had both prisoners and loot. And that interests me. I would like to not fight them both. Actually, we need to think about this real quick, because he's heading our way. And if we win this battle, we're going to be slowed down. You know, let's just do it. If he catches us... Ooh, it pulled them in. Yeah, I think I think we still take this. I think I think the risks are outweighed by the benefits Epic that we stand against. All right, let me head up. See if I can skirmish with them for a little bit. I am a little worried about these javelins because it's going to decimate my my looter line. Everyone attack! <laughs> I just whacked my own guy. Yeah, they don't have colors, so no clue who's who. All right, we definitely don't want them to get away. Let's see if we can at least get the Sea Raiders out of here. It's low. Let's see if we can aim up a little higher. No. All right, we didn't lose anybody. And we did pick up... Actually, that's, that's perfect. Sea Raider Chief. Those guys are really good. And an extra looter, a little more cannon fodder. However, now we got to deal with now we get to deal with the 
big group of looters is coming, and now we're overburdened. Although we have nine troops, they may not mess with us. Yeah, they are going to mess with us, and we're not getting out. Hmm. I guess here's the question. Is it worth... Because we're going to lose some melee troops here for sure. And I think the answer is yes, because we have mostly looters. So if we lose some looters, not the end of the world. All right, we do have to play this smart, though. Footman! Forward! Move! Bowman! Move! Let's stay in the wooded area, so maybe some of the rocks will bounce off of the... Off of the tree. Yeah, it just feels so nice when you hit a shot with this. It's very rewarding. Oh my goodness. They are out of here already. What happened? We only lost three, but I guess maybe it's enough. Their morale was so low. Alright, what do we got? No wounded. Yeah, that's a lot better than I thought it was. Really happy with the renown gain. I think we're just going to let them go. We, we need our movement speed back because there's a lot of... A lot of groups here that we could get swarmed by. Let's go get our movement speed back when we offload. Alright, that's a great place to leave it for now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I want to thank you for your time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll be posting one Robin Hood episode per day, as well as one Ultimate Guide to Bandalore video every Saturday. So make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss them. I've been your host, Strat, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.